Look at this beautiful city. It's New York behind me, ladies and gentlemen. This is freaking amazing. And today, this month, I'm celebrating 10 years snowboarding. 10. Yep, that's me last year celebrating a decade of snowboarding adventure. Snowboarding in the West Coast mountains can be quite challenging. One of the hardest moments for me was when I was a snowbird and had to navigate through deep powder. It was a struggle, especially with my Donex snowboard, which is a carbon board and not the ideal choice for powder day. So this year, I decided to invest in a new board from Koryo Shapes Snowboard, the code name Dark Plus 156. With its design tailored for powder and carving, I'm ready to tackle any snow conditions and make the most out of my upcoming trip to Snowbird, Solitude, Brighton, and maybe Powder Mountain. Come along and take a ride with me starting next Tuesday for an entire week of snowy adventures. All is good, I'm ready to move. Well, it's that time of a year to explore new horizons. I got my gear ready to go. <laughs> right under it is the home um, Korua Dart 156 Plus, baby. With the step-ons from Burton and my Manta gear and Burton as well. This bag is amazing. This bag has so many departments that you can actually put stuff in. I freaking love it. This is the tools for the snowboards. And over here, I got an extra pair of gloves just in case. And over here, I have my beanies and stuff. Pretty. And then in the inside, I have my socks, my head gear. Do I fit this guy in here so I can take him with me? Do you fit in here, Shinobi? Do you? Nah, but what I'm missing is this baby here. A roller. And there you go. Set.